okay, this movie is ugly, dark, and animated very poorly. And I'm sorry to the actors, but your performance wasn't up to standard. Like, maybe you guys are nice in real life, but you need more acting lessons. Okay, let's start with the good in this movie because honestly, there's not really much to it. Obviously, the best deviation they did was getting rid of the uh, racist Native American depictions. Not a huge part of the story, or I mean, none of the story this time is based around every single woman in the vicinity fawning over Peter. The fan theory about Captain Hook being one of the lost boys and that Peter attempted to kill him and fed his hand to a crocodile because he tried to grow up is basically confirmed in this movie. And more to that, Peter and Captain Hook apparently were besties. But then Captain Hook uh, missed his mother or tried to grow up and Peter didn't like that. So he got rid of him. And then Captain Hook has been trying to hunt him ever since and the Lost Boys. Now that we're done with the good, we get to the bad. The movie is extremely fucking dark. Like you'd think you're in a Zack Snyder movie, but no, this is Peter Pan. And this is a movie that includes a fairy, which is basically a moving light bulb, but she isn't in this movie. She is very dark. And no, I don't mean her skin color for all you racists out there or people who cry racist. Like if you see the original Tinkerbell, she's not white. She's basically a light bulb. She's, she's made of light. But the new one is not, except for like less than three minutes in this movie or something. I, I can't even remember. And I don't remember her because she's basically unimportant throughout this entire movie, except for like the opening scene where she sprinkles some fairy dust and the ending scene where she implies that Peter doesn't understand her, which was supposed to be the thing about Peter Pan and uh, Tinkerbell. Like, Peter is the only person in the world who can understand Tinkerbell. She implies that he doesn't understand her, and Wendy is the only one who does. Which is kind of messed up, considering that Peter used to be her only friend, supposedly, for a while. Like, that's very fucking sad. And the actress does way too many dark faces in the movie. I'm not entirely blaming her. Like, I know this is probably in the stupid script, but this was horrible. Do people even do duck faces anymore? Peter from this movie is really, really bad. Like, you could also remove him from the movie and not much will change. Peter is pretty much the opposite from the uh, 1950s version. He's not charismatic, adventurous, or intelligent, or quick-witted. Not at all. Like, he's very very soulless. He's stricken with self-doubt and guilt, and he gets dominated by everyone around him. His boyish adolescent energy is gone. Like, he's not that at all. It's sad to watch him, honestly. All he does is get slapped around and beat up. He's quite depressing to watch. As for symbolism, he pretty much doesn't symbolize anything. Like in the uh, 1950s movie, Peter Pan was the symbol of kids never wanting to grow up and refusing to become adults. And uh, Wendy was, on the contrary, she represented growth and moving forward in life. This is not represented in this movie. Captain Hook was extremely theatrical in the uh, 1950s movie. Again, I'm sorry for comparing. I know this is supposed to be for new audiences, but you're supposed to draw some inspiration from the originals. Captain Hook was larger than life. Everyone knows who Captain Hook is, but in this movie, and no offense to the actor, like, I know he tried his best, and it shows that he's trying his best with the, the garbage pile that he was handed. I think he's basically the best actor in this movie. He, ha uh, he has my vote for the best performance. However, the character still sucked so much. Like, the script was all You can only do so much with an awful script. In this movie, he just became a tragically misunderstood anti-hero or something. That stupid thing that they do with every single character nowadays. Like, nobody can be evil for the sake of evil anymore, or nobody can be a dickhead. Like, the original Captain Hook was a cruel dickhead. This one isn't. He's just sad and tragic. And it doesn't hit home. Like, honestly, I was rooting for Captain Hook during this movie. Like, Peter was a dickhead, and Captain Hook was easier to root for than Peter who is supposed to be the hero of the movie, like, he's the good guy. Like, at the end of the day, what's Hook's purpose in this story? Is he supposed to show us that 
Peter's a bad guy. And don't get me started on Neverland. I don't know why they didn't do like I do and just Google uh, stock images of bright green islands. This is what I do for my videos. I Google stuff and I take an image from the top row. There is a minor thing that honestly I agree with this movie that it doesn't matter. Uh, the Lost Boys, including uh, girls, like, I get it, uh, they want to have everyone included, but in the original play, the, the actual origin of Peter Pan, the author said that no girls go to Neverland because they are too clever to fall out of their prams. The mermaids are gone. The jealousy and all of the uh, quote-unquote negative feelings are gone because, as you know, there is no such a thing as negative feelings in real life. So nobody is jealous of Wendy or, or doing anything negative, generally. I mean, except for Captain Hook and Peter. As for the ending of this movie, Wendy uh, takes home all the lost kids and forces her parents to adopt them. Peter reveals that he used to live in the same house as Wendy, which is fine, I guess. And then the reveal that Peter doesn't understand Tinkerbell and only Wendy does for the moment. So yeah. That's the story of Wendy and Peter Pan. Peter is a plot device, if you may. Also, Tiger Lily is there, I guess, for representation, which is unimportant to me, so I won't really mention it. Overall, this movie was pretty boring, and I totally wouldn't recommend it. Like, not even for your kids. This, this is dumb. And that's it. I hope I'll see you in another video.